Tennessee's reopening has been divided, metro and non-metro. And in some instances, businesses with the same services just a few miles apart are in opposite stages of recovery. Tonight, News 4's Cameron Taylor highlights the difficulties before and after the reopening. Here in Nashville, hair salons won't reopen until phase two. Now, if you drive up the road to another county, they're already back in business. At LW Boutique Salon in Franklin, it's been nonstop since Wednesday. That's when Governor Bill Lee allowed salons in most of the state to turn their lights back on. And we have not had a second to breathe since the doors opened. The daily routine looks a little different these days for owner Lynette Winters. It means wiping down each station after every customer, keeping capacity at or below 50 percent, staying six feet apart, and everyone wearing a mask. We're not bending any rules when it comes to the guidelines that we have to follow because we don't want to risk not being able to work. 18 miles away sits the Truman Gray Salon in Nashville. I'm very comfortable with what the mayor is saying. Uh, I feel like it's keeping us all more safe. It hasn't been easy for owner Naresh Patel, but he understands the mayor's decision. What he worries about is losing business to salons in other counties. We're banking on people being able to come in immediately as soon as we open so that we can start repaying our bills. It's already happening. Winter says new customers from Nashville are making the drive. She does have some advice for owners in the Music City waiting for an opening date. Get ready, put your belt on because when you open those doors, it's going to be crazy. For Patel, he says he'll be ready when that day gets here. Cameron Taylor, News 4 Nashville. The Case County reopening plan is changing just about every day. The best way to keep up with all of the updates and watch live press conferences is on our News 4 app.